So an increased INR above 5, the most favorable being no bleeding, but a raised INR, followed by minor bleeding and then major bleeding. Briefly, what are the definitions of bleeding? ISTH uses the following in regards to clinical studies, so having a rough idea of these is useful. Minor bleeds are defined as all non-major bleeds and are split into clinically relevant and those that are not. Clinically relevant minor bleeds are those that require admission, treatment by a physician or a change in antithrombotic therapy. Major bleeds, on the other hand, are split into surgical and non-surgical. Surgical definition for major bleed is one that proves to be fatal, occurs in a critical area, or extra surgical site bleeding causing a drop of hemoglobin of 2 or below, and a surgical site requiring secondary intervention and bleeding from a surgical site that is large enough to cause hemodynamic instability. Non-surgical bleeds are defined as those that prove fatal, are symptomatic, or cause a drop in hemoglobin of 2 grams or below. Obviously, we do not wait for the bleeding to become fatal before categorizing the bleeds, but this is what the ISTH uses when conducting um, clinical studies. So a patient presents with no bleeding, but the INR is elevated. If the INR is between 5 to 8, stop warfarin and for 1 to 2 days before checking the INR again and starting at a lower dose. If the INR is greater than 8, stop warfarin and give vitamin K orally using the IV prep shown on the right. Minor bleeding with the INR of 5 to 8. We stop the warfarin until the INR is below 5, then we give vitamin K by slow IV injection 1 to 3 mg once. If the INR is greater than 8, treatment is the same, however, the vitamin K injection can be repeated if the INR is greater than 5 after 24 hours. Treatment for major bleeding. As always, we stop warfarin, give a higher dose of vitamin K injection, 5 mg, and give proformin complex or fresh frozen plasma to aid clotting. And that's it for this video. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching.